Hi guys, today my mum's making um, kabbat rohib, which is a Lebanese uh, soup we have in winter. So it is pretty cold here today. Um, that's why we've decided to make it, but it's really, really yummy. So we've got lentils here. So yeah, so they're like little, um, what would you call them? Wheat balls? Uh, wheat balls, probably yeah. Wheat balls in soup. So it is a vegetarian dish. So I'm gonna pop that back there. And this is a basama pot. These pots are really good, guys. And they're very, very pricey, but they're really good. So what she's gonna do here is I'm um, gonna put um, fine crack little wheat. There we go. And yes. that's, is that the second cup? That's the fourth. Oh, is it? Yeah, but I, I'm making for a lot. I'm making for three families. Jay, you're pretty fast. That's four cups of cracked wheat. We've got garlic here. So we've got um, self-raising flour. It's best to use self-raising flour. So we're going to pop that in there. I'm just going to use all of it and I might add more flour because I just don't want wheat, I want flour as well. So what's that now? That is mint. Alright, so that's... It, that's fresh mint fresh that's mint, chopped just a handful did you put anything in there an onion two onions okay so that's mint and onion not too much onions or else it'll make it bitter okay let me just get these out of the way just two large onions And a handful of the juice. Hmm? Oh, uh, just some salt and pepper. Salt? Salt. As you can see, we don't um, measure because mum's been cooking for years. Pepper? Pepper. Not too much pepper. You don't want your mouth to burn. That's actually hot pepper. I love this dish. It's actually my my favorite dish. I can eat from it for like two three days, and I don't eat leftovers. And so we're yeah, gonna get this cup out of the way. We're gonna put water. Yeah, a little bit at a time. And like Just mix, mix it, it, yeah, like you're kneading dough to mix it all together. It needs more water. You don't have. You don't have to use. <laughs> I just caught that on camera. Did you? <laughs> this actually makes a lot. There's gonna be a lot of like wheat balls inside. Yeah. But that's gonna be hard to like roll in that. Oh no. It'll be hard. So this dish in Lebanese is called Gibbet Roheb. It's called uh, it's called Roheb means monk. Usually they eat it the monks eat it all the time. Yeah. Because it's like a fasting food, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we make this like it's very popular when you're At fasting. Easter. Yeah. See how it's still a bit. You need a bit more water. Yeah. I think.
What else did they eat on their fast on like Easter? I oh, know they ate this one. It's like you actually got to go full vegan. Full vegan? Vegan, Like yeah. you can't even have milk. No dairy, no milk, no eggs, no butter, no fish, nothing. And some of them do it for three months. Yeah. Gee, that's a long time. This is, this is how they're supposed to be, that soft. Yeah. But they're still... Wow, that's beautiful. Come, let me show my vlog. And I need this drawing. That's so pretty. Can I show them on my vlog? So this is That's good, you're becoming really good at your letters. I'm just gonna add more water. Yeah. Can you see how it's sticky like that? Mm. It's making that noise. Uh, is that what means it's ready? Yeah, it's yeah. ready, but what you have to do is it was beautiful. Drawing, it was amazing. Just rest it. I'm gonna rest it for 10 15 minutes so that when it goes, it's because of the flour, it's gonna go hard. So I need to add more water, okay? So I'll rest it for about 15 20 minutes. So we'll see you in about 15 20 minutes. That so it's gone hard, yeah, because yeah. I let it rest. So you need more water because you don't. You don't you don't want to eat some meat. Can I find the water? Can I find the water? We have a little time. Little bit. Stop. That's cute. cute. That's cute. So uh, it's gone really hard. That's why you need to let it rest. Stop. Yeah. Get in the middle. Here, in the middle. A little bit more. Because there's a lot. A little bit more. More, more. That's it. Good girl. Yeah, it's rolling. So that's okay. Just keep some water with you because as you're rolling it, it might go hard and you might need to knead it a little bit again. And while I'm rolling these, I'll just turn the stove on for the lentils. And it feels, it feels like an exfoliator. It feels like soft play doh. No. Really soft play doh. It feels like it feels like concrete. <laughs> <laughs> concrete. That's because it's got the wheat in there and stuff. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it feels like concrete and rice. Concrete and rice. Just wet your hand. Just a little bit. The palm of your hand. Just makes it easier. <laughs> How you going there, Tisha? It tickles. It tickles. <laughs> Guys, look at this. You're look. gonna taste this, yeah? It's delicious. Okay, I'll try. Okay. You have to. Mama, can you turn the camera around to me? <laughs> okay. So quick look. Yeah, put it in your bowl. Look how good she rolled it. Yeah, that's your bowl. <laughs> so they get a little bit sticky. So just a tiny bit, not too much water. Just like... <laughs> wow, you're doing a good job. Look at my bowl. Oops. <laughs> Yes, you're doing a good job. And don't press too hard when you're rolling it. I'm not pressing too hard, look. So we've got a bowl of water here. Yeah, just like that, okay? Is it a cute bowl? Yes. Ah, on the palm of your hand. Because yeah. that's what you're working with. Oh, I'm nearly done, Tita. Are wow. you? Wow, your balls are looking really good. Yeah, mine are coming all different sizes. Mine look like cereal. Does it? Oh wow, yes it does. But it's not there though, it's just there. Good girl! 
Wow, that's it sticks on our hand and That looks delicious. Did yeah, you finish yummy. your layer? I'm nearly. Nearly done? Yeah. Just so we bit. still got all that to go. Mm. But and this is the last Mum's got her little this helper here. This is the last big ball. This is the last big ball? Yeah. Wow, well done, Tisha. Dad, can you give me some more? Mm -hmm. Am I going to finish today? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's your one. Dad, look at mine. Look at her. Look at her. Here you go, time to do this, guys. <laughs> Dad! That's flour. Look, guys. Hang on, Tisha. Hang on. And then sprinkle, and then do the next layer. Can you? And then sprinkle, the and then the next layer until you're done. Can you give me the next there we go. So the flour, uh, the wheat balls don't stick together. That's Can why. So in the meantime, we've just turned on um, the heat on the lentils. So the wheat balls are done. In here. Yeah, oh, okay, I have then. to have it because it's too much. Yeah, the basama pot didn't fit actually. Yeah, because we so made too much. So your brother can take that, and even that is too much for us. So salt in the water. Yeah, with the lentils and just a bit of pepper, so the water the the thing is not blamed. The juice. Where's my um? So when do you when do you put the garlic like towards the end? Towards the end, like when they're almost done, like two three boils and that's it. And the hard part is when you gotta put the balls in there. Mix. Uh, mix. So what I'll do later, I'll boil these. Because for your brother, and then when these are done, I'll take some balls out and put them in there. Because I've still got to add the lemon and a bit of garlic, and they're gonna go high. All right. Okay. So I'm going to add. This is the crushed garlic. So I'm just gonna half it. Or I'll just add a little bit less in that one. And how long do you boil the the batro head for? Uh, uh, when they boil, uh, put it on low heat or medium medium to low heat for about half an hour. Lemon? Yeah, lemon. I just find the lemon juice is easier than. And then let it boil for a bit. I just, oh, this is the oldest one. Can I end the video? Mama. So it's ready now. So you can see the consistency. We wanted it um, thick. 